anytime I realized um, I'm doing a job just to get some virtual numbers on my account so that I can have a big house and two cars and a motorbike and all this uh, nice um, luxury things. But actually, I, I don't I, I don't bother at all, you know, I realized that I, I don't bother at all and and I lost the kind of connection to nature. Neglecting of, of uh, responsibility, this uh, invites dark energies, what we see now, yeah? you see? Hmm. The situation now is a kind of uh, climax of all this which uh, which could grow over the last decades uh, within the human mind, the global mind. Mm. And now we have the situation where this dark force is spreading fear. I, I don't see any kind of solution in, in uh, living in uh, communities in, on the countryside. I don't see this as a kind of solution for for humanity so i i see the solution in humanity or for all problems in humanity i see uh in the vibration of consciousness hmm. what what helped me is to to really reevaluate the the relationship to my own mind and this i think something what we all have to learn you know so the relationship to our mind is uh, actually something like a dictatorship relationship. So the mind says anything and we getting caught up by it. It's like it's like this. Um, but actually it doesn't have any any importance for us at all. Hmm. I, I think I think my 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 what I try to 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 get out and what I would would wish from for this world is that the people wake up to the guru and the shaman within themselves. Yeah, so yeah if somebody, sure. I agree so with that. I, what, what I see, what the people, you know, they, they, they're waiting but, for everything. But in the same way now in this uh, situation, it's a, it's a guru, is the government who says you have to wear a mask. And uh, in, 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 the, in the ayahuasca session, the guru tells them, um, what to do and what when to shit and what to smoke, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. and and I and, I, and I, I think it's not a good thing. I think we are now at a point where where we have to find our own shaman within. Yeah. The only thing what you need is friends, hmm. and you don't you don't you not even need psychedelic friends. You just need real really friends, real friends, and then mm -hmm. all is good. That's all mm. what you need, you know. You know, don't need special integration. You don't need something. It's just coming all out exactly in the way it should come out. Uh, but what you need is friends, for sure. Mm. Yeah. It's, uh, or let's say it's very helpful to have friends. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome yeah. to Common Underground Podcast. I'm your host, Jasper Oenhuis, and today I'm joined by Sebastian Eckes. He's the guest of today, and he's right now in Portugal, in Lisbon. I met him in, uh, in, in Peru, in Pisac as well, and he actually invited me to live for, for a while in his, uh, in his place in, in Portugal, uh, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, so... I at first want to thank you for uh, doing this podcast. You just said that it's your first time, so that always makes it more, more exciting. And uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the crossroads and what these times that we're in right now actually mean. Uh, because there's, I think, a lot of things to un unpack. Uh, and there's always a good uh, uh, rhyme from, uh, from Wu-Tang Clan, which they say, like, these are the signs of the times. Conspiracies to overthrow the mind behind every fortune. There's a crime. This technique is tech nine. So I always like, you know, ever discussing something in, in the zeitgeist and in, in the right now moment, I always think of, of that rhyme because I think it's very fitting. Um, so there's a lot of things that we can uh, go into. So, so what, what are your thoughts on, uh, 
on, on, on this whole whole situation that we're in right now. And um, especially within the context in uh, the crossroads, what, what different directions can we take? Yeah, for me, you know, um, uh, a few years ago, I left my life in, in Germany. And I, I was married and had a job and um, everything was kind of very well. And uh, but anytime I realize I belong in the way I earn my money and I live my life, um, this way belongs for me to a kind of way of life which has no future. And and this came out of a sudden to me, actually, in the night, you know, I couldn't sleep for a while because I was kind of, well, not a kind of, I was a, a project manager for SAP software. And it was kind of um, challenging for me because it was so complex. And, um, and I earned money as soon as I um, found a solution about uh, theoretical problems. So, so my mind was quite easy trained to not to sleep and to, to figure out some smart solutions. Mm. <laughs> so, so I started, uh, so I couldn't sleep. And um, anytime I realized um, I'm doing a job just to get some virtual numbers on my account so that I can have a big house and two cars and a motorbike and all this uh, nice um, luxury things. But actually, I, I don't I, I don't bother at all. You know, I realized that I don't bother at all. And, and I lost the kind of connection to nature. Um, yeah, and I saw it everywhere. I, I flew to, to other countries, to uh, Thailand, and this time I started to do um, a meditation, to learn meditation in, in a Buddhist monastery. And wherever I went in, in, in the world, I, I saw the same. I saw there's, uh, there's a way of life which um, separates the people from each other, from the, from the Mother Earth, and um, hmm. and from and, and especially from their own spirit, you know, and from their own uh, abilities to 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 live, you know, to live a happy life, to live a happy or a better 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 said a, a content life. Hmm. So I became quite aware about this. Um, for me, it's a kind of artificial lifestyle. You know, you, the, most people don't do, don't see what uh, what and why they are going to work. They just do it to get money and to 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 be able to go into the supermarket and buy stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's a kind of um, abstract. Um, disconnected way of life um, mm. so. and um, so and then just just to say and on the and this way goes along so everything is connected with everything and um, this way way of life is a kind of um, not taking the I mean in a general decision not taking the, the, the responsibility for your life whatever that means but just as a as an attitude and um, and mm. I see this. I, I see this lifestyle not only disconnect us from each other and from other from our mother and from our own spirit. So let's say from our soul, you can say, you know. Mm. And um, not only is this that um, this uh, neglecting of of uh, responsibility. This uh, invites dark energies, what we see now. Yeah? You see? Mm. The situation now is a kind of uh, climax of all this, which, uh, which could grow over the last decades uh, within the human mind, the global mind. Mm. And now we have the situation where this dark force is spreading fear and on 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 the base of this fear, um, dictating very weird stuff. 
you know yeah so that that is more the dark side is more the the one of the directions that we were you know looks like our society is heading to uh but another side might be uh towards where we live uh harmonious with nature uh but some people might think why, why can't we uh and that's something i would think like why can't we go in both directions or use uh like one is the why is the either and the other just like with uh, with dualism like uh they're they're yeah. like you know that i i have this uh guy that i remind as a spiritual teacher of mine uh and when you take a practice to uh, an apprenticeship uh he teaches you to be prepared for everything so he teaches you to use guns he teaches you to use martial arts uh all these things that you wouldn't consider as being spiritual but he just trains yourself to be capable of taking on everything uh so that is something i find very interesting like that is totally a different direction than what a lot of new age is about like just being positive yippee yippee yay but uh then we neglect <laughs> our, da- our darker sides you know so i think we we i think there's i think the next phase that we're going into has to do a lot with integration uh bringing towards yeah. bringing our dark and our light sides uh to the surface you know uh would you yeah. agree I I would totally agree and um yeah it's difficult to to put it into words mm. what I I I mean uh, it's difficult for me to to uh to bring both uh, both uh, ways together let's say it like this yeah mm. that's a challenge for me at the moment yeah yeah, yeah. But it just yeah. implies that we have to make a decision. That is what I gather from it. Uh, but uh, um, Krishnamurti, uh, also a very interesting person, uh, he always talked about uh, once we make a decision, there's already a confusion because we don't know, like uh, we don't know what to pick. You know, like if we're in the supermarket, there's all these different choices that we can make. Uh, but then we're like, okay. Uh, yeah. What, what what do I pick? You know, like uh, there's so many things, uh, but but I can see yeah. this 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 crossroad that we're talking about. I can see that there could there should be a decision uh, to be made, and I think like one of them should be based upon love, and the other one should is based upon fear, uh, and that is I think the, the yeah. decision that we have to make. But uh, I think like fear has a negative uh, association with it uh but if we're like when i was in peru i went to the jungle and there were i heard in the dis- distance some monkeys and i was like oh man I, what, what do you need to do now because you're not really prepared for something like that so i had this feeling of fear like very primitive fear coming through my body but i like you know as soon as they're i rationalized it like okay they will probably won't attack me or I, they're probably far away. Uh, I calm myself down, uh, but I don't think that those fears are uh, negative, or at least we should discard them because the fear was triggered by nature itself. So it is something natural, uh, but it's still uh, a fear that is uh, useful in a way. So that's why I don't say like we should discard fear, uh, but uh, we should definitely. Uh, in the eyes of, you know, Bill Hicks always said that in the eyes of love, we see all of us as one. Uh, in, the, in the eyes of fear, we, we separate it. But uh, there, there, I should mention that there's two types of fear. Uh, there's one fear that you create in your mind. And then there's another type of fear. I don't know if there's like an English name for it. But uh, in Dutch, you say like a uh, phrase. Uh, and that's like you see something physically yeah. and you fear, fear that you know because it's something like if you get yeah. attacked by a lion like it's useful to be fearful then because you need to run away or whatever you know yeah but other forms of fear we exactly. create for ourselves and then we get stuck uh so yeah what do you what do you think is yeah. fear necessary oh uh, yeah yeah totally yeah yeah 
I, I just, um, yeah, I like what you said about about love, and this, I think, by all complaining about about the dark energies which are now at the moment uh, rising, and um, and preparing the fertile ground of fear for for some means which we all don't like actually. Um, this subject has this uh, opportunity to to rise above um, uh, different opinions and different thinkings about the situation and uh, really to find some other places to connect. Yeah. Mm. So this, yeah, this, this, I think this is quite uh, quite an important point at the moment. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, yes, I, I, more I, and more. I, I mean. This subject separates even families and good friends, you know, they all, um, they, they, within families and within uh, friends, you find uh, two totally opposite uh, opinions about how we should deal with this situation. And um, it's really inviting to, 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 ri to rise above this uh, subject. Yeah. 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 Like, like, it isn't a very, uh you know it, there, it isn't for that important if we have different opinions but we should still and that's what my, my previous podcast was an example for like even though you share not similar views you could still need to talk with each other uh and i think that is yeah. a very big problem in, in our society <laughs> as well we we don't really learn to uh talk with each other honestly you know and and someone might be muslim yeah. another person might be a christian and they cannot settle on the same uh, same issues even though like if you go very deeply into those uh, religions they they all speak about the same things but in different ways you know um, so that is something yeah. that we're, we're we're still stuck in you know we, we, we just try to describe everything in different languages and uh, we, we say we, we approach it everyone the approach the situation differently but that's not bad it, it shouldn't be done uh in a uniform way i think like everyone should do something different but there should be common lines uh uh and that is like based you know your intention should be love and sharing and uh caring and also like giving service to others but at the same time not not for forgetting about yourself and your own needs that you need as well uh because otherwise you get swollen by other people's desires like oh help me out with this thing help me out with that but then you forget, like, okay, I need to take care of myself as well. So, I, and that yeah. I think ties in with fear. But I do have to add to that, like, fear is not something. If you say the word, it can trigger already person. But it's only a big problem if you get swollen by it. You know, it becomes your whole world. Then you're killed in this fearful state, and you don't see a way out. But if you if you utilize fear in a useful sense, then it, it becomes part of you. But you can give it a spot and, and then it serves you, you know, and um, then you can yeah. rise above it and, and live and live in, in love. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's just some, some of my thoughts on it. Uh, it's a, it's a very interesting yeah. time that we're in. It. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so, so one of the solutions um, could be uh, what, what you're doing and what they're doing here is going off the grid. Uh, but I think that is not a, a solution uh, for everyone yet because a lot of people are living in cities and it's not really, you know, like not everyone can afford having land or building a small hut uh, and, and it's not for everyone as well. So I'm really thinking in the last couple of days and, and, and weeks upon this like okay we're transitioning into a more uh, hopefully a more sustainable world which is one of the paths that we can take but how do we integrate this into into a larger city uh, and that's the reason why i'm going to barcelona and going to participate there in the community because maybe i can get a sense there and how they do it and how they connect people even though you're in a city with a lot of differences uh, but, but yeah, we, we, we should definitely transition into a more sustainable world, but it's still, uh, all these things need to be scalable. 
And that's a friend of mine said that, you know, very cleverly. We need, we need to, uh, yeah. it, it, you know, it's nice that we have a farm where we can live like together, but if we don't have a, if we don't, we cannot apply this on a mass level, uh, yeah. then, you know, we still need to get other solutions or, uh, yeah, other opportunities. So, yeah, that's sort of some things that, 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 are, that, that is still like I need to work on some more. And, and also yeah. these things about communities there, there's now, I don't know how it is in Portugal, uh, but communities are still a lot on themselves instead of like, there's different communities. How do you interact with these different communities? And then you can have a, a lot more influence and you can share information like, okay, this is things we're struggling with. Okay. Yeah. I can help you out there. You can maybe send people around, uh, or if you want to make new communities, you don't have to do it alone. Uh, there might be already platforms for this, I don't know, but I don't see it yet as far as I know. So maybe I have to start one, I don't know. Uh, but, but is there like in Portugal, something like that, that you have different communities interacting with each other? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we have, I mean, I mean that's a big movement here in South Portugal, especially the, you have a lot of communities and they're interacting also together in the way that they sell their their veggies <laughs> to each other. Mm. So if if somebody has uh, too much, so then there's a market where you can bring your veggies, and so you can exchange actually uh, veggies. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, but just what what you say, I totally agree. I I don't see any kind of solution in, in uh, living in uh, communities in, on the countryside. I don't see this as a kind of solution for, for humanity. So I, I see the solution in humanity or for all problems in humanity, I see uh, the vibration of consciousness. Hmm. And, hmm. and you, you know, like, I mean, this is actually the point where we started from this crossroad, and I see, perhaps not, but for me it looks like if we don't raise our energy now, it could be too late. In this world, we have the we have the option to choose between a life where life itself becomes not a a resource. Mm -hmm. which is um, which is gained and tr and trained and and used by a minority uh, but but life is is a, is a holy grail which is given to every every living being mm -hmm. and and on the on the other hand we have uh, we have this uh, opposite life which no child would wish for 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 itself I'm I'm quite sure, and if you if you're talking about solutions uh, for humanity or for society, I see clearly every solution. We we don't need sophisticated solution like how how do we want to live to uh, with each other and what is what is the most sustainable way to to deal with energies or with food. I think this all comes by itself. You mm -hmm. know today. I just, just just to give you one example, what's what's happening today? I was quite into trading um, seven or eight years ago on the on the stock exchange, and I became quite um, quite acquaintance with a trader from from Frankfurt, and they told me a story um, that we have today. We have a, a way of life where people click on a button and buy something and they are absolutely not aware about that this clicking on the button leads that the captain on a, on a, on a boat, on a big boat, gets a command to destroy the total load of, uh, of corn on the boat in front of Africa's coast. Hmm. Just, just to, to raise the price of of corn and um, and so that the bank has more more money on the future future stock exchange so and 
you know, if you if you're talking about uh, food and distributing food and and all the stuff and food for the for the for the poor world, it's all coming from the same place. It's all coming from a place of 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 greed of of fear. You know, mm. it's all fear. It's all fear to not have enough and fear somebody else has too much and um and so that's that's the crossroad what i what i try to 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 point out where we, where we're standing now and everything everything is pointing in the same direction and if we go if we go let's say to the right to a free world and everything is given for us to do it so the, the instruments are all all given but it's just a, a way of its kind of decision and it, you say it, you say it's a kind of duality what I'm talking about, but it's duality. You know, it's, you you cannot go, you cannot go back. Uh, you cannot go go on the one hand to a kind of war, and the other as a hand you say no, there is no war. You know, the, you decide, you make a decision, and uh, this decision decision at the moment, um, yeah. Has uh, the, the opportunity to go to the uh, wrong direction, mm-hmm. so you know. And in the same way, we we, we uh, Satoshi Nakamoto and all these guys, they gave us instruments like the cryptocurrencies, um, which which gave us or uh, give us the opportunity to to create something totally new. You know? Yeah, yeah, but the DeFi and. and Exactly, you know. Yeah. I mean, so and uh, so just to just to, to conclude this um, thing about, I I'm not I'm not uh, convinced that that any way of lifestyle could um, could change the world. So if everybody would live on the countryside, it would change nothing at all. You know. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, in 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 the core and the root, you know, it wasn't just nothing. I I live on the countryside because I like it and because I like fruit trees and I lo- love to live with the, uh, animals, <laughs> mm. and uh, and because I have it, I like to have it calm. You know? Yeah, but uh, I don't see it as a so big impact on a on a for nature. You know? mm. Well, if if yeah. I if I would uh, play devil's advocate, uh, and and I would defend wars, like you can see it in some ancient civilizations. I think it was the Aztecs or the Mayas. I'm not very sure, but one of those civilizations yeah. they had these wars also to regulate their population. Um, so that would be a defense, like why we still, you know, it's either. I I think always in 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 the perspective, like it's not either or. But it's uh, and and, uh, and both uh, like it it can be both still. Uh, but if we would regulate it, like the ways wars are fought these days, it's pretty brut- brutalic. Like with these drone strikes and and like next to schools and uh, a lot of people get involved that isn't involved in the wars itself. But if we still like and I think that's the basis of martial arts as well. Like we have these urges, we have this animalistic side within us, and if we don't give this uh an expression um then you know people get uh hurt that haven't had anything to do with the conflict in the first place uh so i think like there should be an integration that was what, what i was pointing or it's like we shouldn't discard old ways maybe uh but i could be completely wrong about this but and i'm not defending more uh, myself because of course i hate war and I, it should be abolished but um maybe it's an it's a part of our of our evolutional step and uh if we say we i think we have to go gradually towards getting a to a better world because a lot of people like i think you pointed towards this as well like a lot of people aren't or at least i saw this in the the doors video that you sent me a lot of people uh won't go into the next phase uh of, of our evolution because they're not ready yet uh, to make this transition because it takes a lot of adaptability and, uh, uh, and living, it takes a lot of courage as well. And, and being conscious to always live in a uh, loving state, it's not that easy because 
uh, society puts this stress towards us. And it's much easier if you're like living off the grid, uh, but still uh, there's a lot of work to be done there. And I think one of those works doesn't necessarily needs to be that we should uh, like, uh, and I see that a lot in the new ways, like oh, anti-war, anti-fear, anti this, anti that. And it's like, yeah, of course it's not, it's not good for us, <laughs> but, 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 you know, it, it, I believe personally that everything is here for a reason. So even those things, even though you have a personal dislike towards it, it is there. Um, yeah, it sucks, but yeah, it's, it's part of life. So, uh, I, I do think like in, in, to be more idealistic, um, that we should get rid of it. Um, we should get more harmonious, but, um, if we discard it, then we don't really learn the lessons from these from these uh, ancient civilizations like the Mayas or uh, war in itself. Like I watch a lot of uh, strategy f videos and like how war play out and I play a lot of chess. So in that way, it still gets integrated because I think the strategy is something that we need to use, but maybe not, you know, we shouldn't use other people's life to fight our, our, our conflicts, but we should be able to uh think strategically because for some things you do have to get organized uh and i think that it was a suitable reaction to the situation that we're in right now would be uh strategic in what we're doing uh and and maybe it it goes on a different level than what you're saying uh with raising your frequency yeah that's a part of it but we shouldn't discard our own minds and our own egos we should integrate them and we give them a spot and through that we can still right, make the right moves and hopefully we'll, won't get checkmate. Uh, but we'll see how things will play out. Uh, it's very interesting for sure. And, uh, no, I totally agree, Jess. Well, for me, it's just important to get the message out. I mean, I, I mean, it sounds arrogant to, to that, that I think I, I have a message for somebody out, but I just, if, if, we, if we talk, then I want to share yeah, no, um, but in my opinion, in my opinion, I mean, there there are a lot of people outside of uh, in the world at the moment who who really um, who really uh, appreciate the way how it is, you know, and um, how the how the uh, I mean, they appreciate the way that uh, some people in lawsuits sitting anywhere and deciding who is wearing something in the mask, uh, in the face or not. And it just, it, it's exactly this giving a way of um, responsibility about your life and, um, and the basement uh, where, where such a structure is possible is fear. And, mm. um, and I know with my words now, I, because I just, I not in the right, uh, I don't find the right ways now, uh, words now, but, Mm -hmm. But, but, but still, this is a message. I mean, the, the people really have to wake up and have to grow out of the structure. It's like, for me, it's like the humanity is uh, used to be a kind of child, and this child had to be led. Like, yeah, like mm -hmm. you know, you you like are with a, with a, yeah, you you are in, in a kind of um, situation where a road is nearby. And so the, the child has to be taken on, on the hand and um, it has it is necessary to make sure that the child's not uh, running on the road. So this, this was the situation all the decades and uh, centuries ago. Yeah, and, and so this, 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 this is taken on the hand. The, the people are taken on the hand by a kind of uh, elite, uh, elite, elite people. And um, and now you see this is this is not working anymore. If mm. you, if you still if you still proceed this this kind of uh, lifestyle, this way of life, it leads to nowhere but desert, mm. uh, desert in the people and desert on the planet. And if you you know, and this this is a this is this is a this is a question of duality. You don't get you don't get both. You know. Mm. I, I I don't see I don't see this uh, wishy washy boast. I don't see it. I see the people have to grow up or not. Yeah. And um, and there 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 are some some ideas that uh, that like Dolores Cannon, 
that there is something um, and also another general um, work of the Book of Ra, which I mentioned to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the previous call. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can you can think about channeling. It's very. I think everybody has to find its its own way to to channeling. But it's very interesting what they say, and they they, they talking uh, many channeling talking about similar phenomena, and they talk about that um, that some people will go to the one direction, the other to the other direction. I don't know. You know, for me, I, I, I don't know this, but I, I know for sure we people, we have to raise and to, to, to grow out of the structure. This is very important. Yeah. Yeah. And that yeah. starts with, with people uh, re or deprogramming themselves and, and have extra disbelief that they're in a separated state, especially in, in, in the West. Uh, you know, we, we have, uh, our, like, I, uh, if I feel pain, I call it my pain. Uh, but actually, we're, we're all sharing our pain. And the same thing goes with, with, with a lot of different things. We, we see everything in a separated state. Uh, but I, I think, like, on the other side, if people just go into unity, uh, they lose a sense of their authenticness. Uh, because then you get this coll collectivism, you know, like, okay, uh, Nazis or, 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 or community, uh, communism where everyone should be the same, uh, you know, it's called uniforms. Um, I think it should be a, a, a interplay between both of them, uh, where we still have our own identity in the sense that we were all approaching it in an authentic sense. Uh, we all have our own. Uh, uniqueness we shouldn't lose that but in the same way we should uh, uh, you know come together in a certain way I don't know uh, yeah yeah I, I mean I, 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 absolutely but but if you if you really I mean if we would grow out of the structure everybody would have uh, enough space to to keep his uh, individual um, yeah, character and and live its own um, meaning, which is given by by something higher, which created us all, you know, in the first place. And yeah, hmm. but for yeah. this, it's important to to grow out of the structure, you know. And this is all what I want to say. <laughs> I mean, this this podcast, I I I tried to make uh, some some notes, but I didn't have. Uh, Except one, and this was this uh, this message of mm. yeah, yeah, this message. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's it's good. Yeah. Like uh, maybe in some things there, you should talk less about, and then stress the importance of the few words that words that you did say. You know, like it's not about yeah. the quantity of, of of the words, but uh, about the power behind it. Uh, but yeah, I I I, I don't know, like. Uh, it's it's difficult to say uh, what will happen, uh, but I do believe that uh, the now is hidden within the now. There's the the past and and the and the seed of the past and the seed of the future. So if we know the now yeah. at a certain depth, uh, then we can know the, the future in that way as well. And that takes away our fear anyway, because if you know that you're good now, then why wouldn't you be in the future? Uh, of course, you know, your, our emotions swing from left to right uh, and, and we sometimes feel good and we sometimes feel bad. Uh, but that's always, I, as far as I know, always, always the case and it's inescapable. But uh, one thing we yeah. do have control is, is, is the integrating process. Uh, something that I touched upon in the previous podcast is how we all uh, consider, you know, certain people like-minded. Uh, if I would be left uh, politically or right politically, then I would look for similar people who are sharing the same views, but we should actually uh, talk with differences as, as well. Like that is much harder. Like for me, it's much more easier to talk with you because we share yeah. similar views, but some people, they, and, and some people have certain ego identifications or people are uh, generally interested in spirituality, but they approach it through like my friend does in capitalism, 
uh, capitalism or in, 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 in another way. Um, but for me, that's like, okay, I don't really make that distinction myself, like which one are uh, not high enough on the frequency. I think the universe selects that for me. Uh, but I am <laughs> capable in talking with everyone, you know, because I do think that yeah, is yeah, something that will, what, that's how we heal, you know, like, uh, in our Western society, we, and that's why I started the podcast, you know, I'm good at talking about all these things because there's so much things to say, <laughs> you know, uh, and I do think that, yeah. that it is important that we talk about these things, even though, you know, a lot of these, uh, especially spirituality is a lot of it involves things that, that you cannot talk about you know it involves practices uh yeah. meditation and all these things but words aren't aren't negative by themselves it's just the technology and if we use this technology yeah. in, a, in, a, in a wise uh on a, in a wise way then we sure. can create a, a beautiful uh beautiful first ourselves but then then a beautiful world which stems from the word and world you know like it's it's kind of actually the yeah. same thing, um, and and in yeah. in the in the word you have the letter L uh, to it as well. And world from world to world, it should, it use uh, there needs to be one element, and that's the L. And the L is also like the Bible or the chapel or castle or uh, Micah L. Uh, yeah, and, and there's a lot of a lot of things with, with L, especially in the Bible, um, and that stands for God. Okay. Uh, so, if we use the word with God, word is no, it just says in the Bible as well. Word was with God, then we create the world, yeah. and that's what we experience. So, if we get that power back, then yeah. we can utilize it for a positive uh, end. And I think that we that is something um, that will become very important. Uh, of course, I like, like the, it, yeah. yeah I did, of course, like the universe will do a lot of things or do everything for us, but uh, that doesn't mean that we should just, you know, lay back and uh, do nothing and ah, oh, we'll sort itself out, you know. Like that's not, and I think that, that yeah. that's not something that you're saying. So I think do think like that is the aspect where we still need the ego. That's why we're using words. Uh, but you know, we, we do have to integrate it uh in the right way where we uh, know where it came from from the source and what language is is an imitation of nature itself uh like like i saw a video on on in, in turkey where they whistle or uh at first you know like music for example uses rhythm and rhythm is an imitation of the heartbeat so we imitate and, and the same thing goes with technology we in, imitate things that uh, are already existing in the universe, but we're using it, and and, and I think that's the power of humans, you know, uh, that we can do that. Yeah. Uh, but it shouldn't be at at the cost of nature itself. So I think like in the coming years, we'll transition into uh, but more of bio energy, more, more bio technology, where you know, like Victor Schauber said, based on implosion, uh, where we don't use uh, nature's resources as much i think those are will be things like of course right now it's still suppressed but because the need isn't there as much yet people are like ah whatever you know like if somebody talks about that zero point energy whatever but it's in the coming years it will be a lot more important and if people still or the government still or, or the deep state whatever uh, still suppresses those things then people are like you know we need those things right now so uh, why are you suppressing it? And then people raise more questions. So hopefully that will happen. But uh, what is most important is that people try to stay true to themselves. Uh, and that's where the soul's path is about. And I think that is one of the directions to go yeah. back to the crossroad. I think that is one of the directions we can take. Uh, <laughs> but but I do think like it's just an interesting word, uh, the crossroad. And, I, I, and it comes from... Uh, the, the the Hopi prophecy as well, I think, uh, where they have this rock where um, there are two possible ends. Uh, and that's what you're describing with one being, you know, uh, I think they, they symbolize it through like light, lightning and stuff. 
and where it looks very chaotic and yeah. the other one is more with corn where like you know corn is a different civilization something sacred because it uh, regenerates itself or it re, uh, repopulates itself it's a very uh, interesting plant uh, but uh, yeah it just symbolizes uh, yeah a lot of things the the sun and truth and yeah a lot of different things so yeah do you have any familiarities with with the Hopi uh, Hopi peoples because they they used this, they foresaw that this this happened uh, and there's other ancient civilizations that saw similar things like the Mayan calendar was you know people said this yeah. change happened in 2012 but most of the change actually is now occurring a lot quicker now we're in 2020 but I do think like the 2012 yeah. how i experienced it myself there was definitely a shift but i think it's not a shift that's oh we're totally in a different dimension now no i think this goes to gradually yeah. and these last couple of years i yeah. see many signs like we're transitioning in in a higher uh state of being but uh scientifically they would discard uh, a lot of those things by, by just oh there's this strange nature phenomenon um, I'm also referring, I will put this in the video about a, uh, a picture that I took of the sky of clouds of being like 10 kilometers in height. Uh, and they were like, uh, yeah. you see all these geometrical shapes in, in, the, in the clouds. Very strange phenomenon. I've never seen something like that. But you can say, yeah, yeah, ten, it just took those clouds. But for me, it symbolizes something like we're definitely transitioning. And it doesn't, yeah. didn't happen this year, it was like yeah. two years ago. But it was like during these 2012 and 2020. And I think these eight years, a lot of things, just for my, myself personally, a lot of things happened. Uh, but I do think it's also for other people that uh, in, these, uh, in these years, and I think the next few coming years will, will transition a lot more. And then also think that we're, that's why we're talking about this. Uh, because what, yeah. we, we, there needs to be certain people that guide, uh, that guide the rest on this transitioning uh, because a lot of people they're actually uh, like I know a friend of mine who actually just started like a, a year ago on um, becoming more spiritual and uh, being interested in, in just a more holistic view uh, that's something I've been involved in for uh, for the half of my life so since I was 12 so that's why I feel like a responsibility that I have to uh, be a guide to, to others who are going through this transitioning. And I think you are another person, and I know many other people who have this similar role where we have to guide people that were already went through this process early on. So we, we have a in that way in a certain advantage. Uh, but other people still now picking yeah. up like, okay, with the Corona thing, something doesn't add up here. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's they're this mask, but, but the mask and like the virus still travels through the mask. So people need to research those things first before they get aware uh, that it's all just bogus. And it's more like a symbolic thing that where you have to put on a mask and, you know, it changes your identity uh, and, and you become part of the collectivized uh, vision that the, that the government has. And that is the other direction that we can take where everything becomes more monitored. Uh, but that I, I, I don't I doubt seeing that happening uh, but the, I, I do get into discussions with some people who are saying like yeah but the masses are still a lot in fear right now you know but I do that that comes in yeah. that uh, they're still starting on this project uh, process some people might be further than others uh, but I think like, like on a mass level people are getting it like more and more that's that's the thing that I get like I'm traveling during these times uh, during the Corona time, so I have a unique uh, perception in that sense. Like I do see that when I first yeah. went here to France, I thought everyone would wear had to wear a mask because that's what I was told. Yeah, it's it's mandatory there. But when I came here, I still saw like the half of the people only wearing a mask. Uh, some people wear it only like this. Other people yeah. wear it like under the skin, and other people not at all. So. I was like, okay, I'm not going to wear a mask as, as well. Like if other people already know this, why the fuck should I, you know? Uh, but uh, yeah. yeah, I do think that people are waking up. So that's why I do believe that we're going to make this transition, hopefully towards a more positive end. Uh, but we do, uh, yeah. for 
need to travel for a long distance first uh, before uh, yeah. we get to that. Yeah, I think I think anyhow it's really a call to to find a way to um, to encourage to encourage people to to go inside, huh? Mm. Yeah, and those people will be led astray too much. Uh, what, what say it again? Uh, I think those people who, who look inside they won't be led astray because they they have a more firm understanding of who they are. And I think if you're yeah. more more like caught up in the external world, then you know like all these things on the news, then you get caught up in this, and then you will wear a mask, and then you get fearful, which makes you only more susceptible to to the whole thing uh, on multiple levels. So I mean, it, it's I, very interesting that uh, that the most uh, people who are doing meditation and stuff like this, they are totally uh, not into it. Hmm. Into, into the whole vibe. It's very, very interesting to see the connection, yeah. Yeah, and then that's why I also <laughs> stress the importance on words because I think a lot of these, I'm not denying the virus, but I do think like a lot of this situation has to yeah, do with no, word no, control. Sure, yeah. if, you, if you, you know, like we, we communicate with each other a lot uh, and now a lot less because people have yeah. to sit inside. But that you do notice, like yeah. once you see your friend and you have a certain talk, like all all, all the uh, encounters become much more meaningful instead of like hanging around people that you don't really have too much, uh, uh, you know, to, to benefit from. But you just hang around because you're uncomfortable with yourself, and now you have to sit inside. So I think like those are some beautiful beautiful wake up calls for people. Like okay, now I have to force to be with myself. Yeah. So let's be comfortable with myself. Uh, and and I, that's why I think like this situation has some positive benefits as well. But I think they're mostly yeah. beneficial for, for the younger generation because they are still, their mind isn't like uh, rigid, like, like the older generations who are still stuck in these patterns. But when you're younger, it's much more easier yeah. to adapt to these new situations that you're in. Like a lot of it sucks, of course. Like yeah. you cannot go to parties, you cannot go to clubs and all those things. But what can you do? And people will get more. Like I met some beautiful people who did very beautiful things, uh, uh, adapting in in the right way to the situation. Like there's still a lot of things that you can do, and that's that's something I want to uh, point my finger towards. Uh, through my words and I think that that is the power of our words like if, if we use our words wisely now we can direct people in in the right direction and we can send them in the right uh, you know where we don't have to get more monetized and where we just have more trust because yeah. one thing we have to talk about first of all is our feelings and our emotions things we're dealing with in our in ourselves and and we should open up and make ourselves vulnerable and in that way we would heal not just ourselves, but each other as well. And once we yeah. heal each other, then we can focus not on, okay, what are my needs? I, I need this, I need this car, I need that. No, what, what are the needs of earth itself and what are the needs of nature? And uh, it just goes on from there. Uh, and I hope that we'll go into that direction, but it's not, it's not for a decision for me just to make, like I make that decision for myself and then try to do all the things that I can towards that decision, but everyone should make that decision for themselves. Uh, and, and this decision comes back to fear and love, just like Bill Hicks said, you know, there's only one choice, fear and love. Um, and that's, that's the crossroad that we're on, but we're always on that crossroad, but it's only became more relevant right now because I think fear is at its highest point since 9-11, something like that uh, yeah. for a lot of people. Uh, yeah. So, you know, that is, that is something that people need to think about. Uh, what, what is, and, and uh, to my viewers, like people think about uh, in what way do you want to uh, respond in, to this whole situation? You could be creating art, you can be creating a podcast just like mine. You can uh, do a lot of things, but everyone can do something. Uh, talk with your neighbors if, if you have the possibility uh, just give them an extra attention, you know, uh, put, uh, uh, do whatever, do whatever you can. Just be creative in every moment and see what you can do, but do it always out of the basis of love. Um, so, yeah, if there's anything you want to add to that? 
think we can. No, ask. no, I totally, I totally agree. I mean, what I, what I believe in is in uh, what I already said in consciousness raising, and um, this also con we could do um, by um, synchronized meditations on the on the planet. What I really like, which I, which which coming now. And um, yeah, I like to join to join these. And mm -hmm. but not only this. I mean, much more important is what you just said. You know, just um, speaking with with neighbors, helping nature uh, neighbors, and find a way to connect without talking about all the stuff and transferring the spirit of faith and braveness, bravery, and. Uh, and um, what to say? Hmm. Yeah, you the, the, the spirit of brotherhood, you know, it's through without words and uh, without talking about this corona thing. I think this is one of the powerful means to um, raise our collective um, vibration. You know. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's take a five to ten minute break. Uh, so to yeah, viewers, man. stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, you think you're thinking about uh, what what I just said with uh, uh, how we can help out how, how to teach each other. Uh, because I do want to participate. Let my viewers participate in, in in our way of thinking as well. Because that is what it's all about. And uh, yeah, see you guys uh, in in, in a, just a moment. To the second part uh, we took a small break and now we're back we're going to talk about guidance because there are some people in our society that uh, were, like I described for previously that and, and we I especially I myself consider my as myself as a person that uh, can take on this role even though it's a grand responsibility but uh, at first you should be able to guide yourself and that's the first thing and some people are not stable enough because they have certain traumas or they went through certain things and this world can be very scary uh and it tries its best to to pull you apart and and, and pull you with this whole situation uh so i think we need stable people people that worked uh in a couple of years upon themselves enough that they come in this position where they can be in service to others which is where it's all about. Um, yes. They, they, they can guide per people, other people. But, but, uh, have you, do you have any experiences with, with uh, needing to fulfill this role? Do you know certain people that, that, that struggled with, uh, with their past and, and are right now struggling with, with this whole situation where they get pulled into the whole story, the whole narrative where, and know uh, what, what they're trying to push on us. Um, do you know some people? Yeah. I know many people who, who, um, who came in this year to a point where, we, where they for sure, or they, they were sure about they already passed this point. And now this year brought them back to this point where they actually thought, I, I'm done with it. So I was one person of, of these people. Hmm. So I, I, I would I, I had never could imagine that that uh, something in the world could could trigger me so much like like this year, you know. Hmm. I was I was I felt like totally finished with the world. Like I just enjoy it but I'm I'm not there's there are not so many triggers uh, anymore out, out out in this world but but this but this thing it was just amazing and 
and I see many people have it in, in this or another way. Yeah. Mm. So um, it's a, it's a, I mean, this year was a real accelerator and catalyst for for a, for in a, in a, in a journey. Yeah. 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 What, what are some things that people, if they want to work upon themselves, like what would, would it something that you did for yourself? Uh, or what, what would you say to certain people? I guess it, it is different for everyone. Uh, yeah. But there are some yeah. things like, uh, you know, meditation and, some practices uh, similar like that. Um, I, I, I personally believe that if you don't have a creative expression into your life, uh, then uh, you, you, you are taking a lot of drugs, a lot of the distractions, but you're not really serving uh, yeah. your, your inner needs, your inner soul. Uh, and, and I think that that is something that you know people need to find in themselves like what what are things that make them unique and that will become their therapy uh and and that will become like a guide where they can even though they, like it's very difficult to uh completely uh, be out of the whole uh drama that we're in uh but if we get uh influenced by it then we can still like use it in 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 a uh, creative way where we can express it through through poetry, through art, through music. Uh, yeah. Just there's so many different things that you can do. But uh, I think that once we're in that position, then we can really guide ourselves because then we have an art form in which we use that art form as a guidance. Uh, if that makes sense to you. Yeah, totally. I I think I totally get it. Uh, I mean. You you ask you, I I think you 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 ask a question what what helped me and and mm -hmm. and the, uh, to 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 handle my trigger it was actually what they all all script, scriptures talking about Buddhist scriptures Hinduism scriptures there's a kind of um, I mean Hinduism they call it uh, Lila the game hmm. and and. Um, in, in Buddhism, it's, it's uh, the samsara. Uh, it's it's a wheel of life, and it's always pulling you, um, uh, sucking you into it, uh, your attention, and um, yeah, you 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 believe that it has to be in a certain way to to make you happy, and. Um, and yeah, and and it, for me, help to 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 um, to remind myself to to see the lila, but not to be um, to be caught up by it, you know. And really, to 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 it it was so inviting to step into it and to play with it, to get to the to go to the. I went to the demonstration in Berlin, and this was a totally. Um, uh, stepping stone and in, in my development in this uh, whole situation because I just I just recognize it it's just not the battleground for me it's just uh, the battleground for me it's on the on the cushion at home where I have to find the position um, where I'm not tangible for for any kind of energy out there and if I if I'm in this position if I really uh, not t tangible for it, if I'm not um, getting caught up by it, and then I'm ready to to do anything at all, you know. And uh, but but my my battleground is a is a cushion to to sit on and to to meditate, you know, and to to uh, to really get into my mind that that the world is it's good if I don't want to change it. Because this world is so crazy because everybody knows, uh, because everybody thinks he knows or she knows how the world should be and wants to bend the world how it should be. Mm. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so what, what helped me out was just a reflection of what I, what I learned over the past years. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it requires yeah. a lot of uh, listening first before, you know, you, you, you say or... Uh, you think in a certain way like if we just keep on thinking and we're not listening then uh, you know we, we 
we get trapped not just necessarily by the world, but we get trapped in our own minds and our own uh, thoughts and stuff. And yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, but what brings us to the question: What is the world? The world is always uh, kind of in your mind. Mm -hmm. and the world and the mind is not separate, you know. So yeah. So it's it's just one, you know. So if you if you're talking about the, the world in your mind, it's it's always in your mind. Yeah, yeah, there's right, no, yeah. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's, it's it's just it's just um, what but, which power which power gives uh, which or I I I like it to put it like this. Um, what what helped me is to to really reevaluate. The, the relationship to my own mind and this I think something what we all have to learn you know so mm -hmm. the relationship to our mind is uh, actually something like a dictatorship relationship so the mind says anything and we getting caught up by it it's like it's like this and but actually it doesn't have any any importance for us at all hmm. what does have Better. importance Huh? What does have importance to? Now our our being, you know, our, our 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 way to be is, has nothing to do with with the way how we think about it. That I want to, that's what I want to say. You know, our our being is not affected by, or not it it doesn't have to be affected by what is in our mind. Mm. And and this is for me the the lesson what I try to get into my mind or into my existence is uh, is exactly this lesson yeah? is uh, to 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 uh, learn to to let go of the mind actually. Hmm. Yeah, um, that, that is something very important. Yeah, the letting go because that is something that Dolores also mentioned. Uh, yeah. which is the, the hardest part for a lot of people uh, and, and, and Absolutely, yeah. something that you can see in our society people have a fear of death uh, and, and they also yeah. have a fear of letting go of their of the ego which is actually uh, both the same thing like they, they, they uh, have this identity of their selves which is attached to their body and when, yeah. you know once you die they believe like this dies as well so they, they can hold, hold this perception that you know, you're not, you're not the, you're not your body. Uh, and and <laughs> yeah. if, if you really like a very practical, uh, pragmatic uh, uh, example of this, like if you love someone, but they have to travel or uh, they're, they're leaving you for some type of reason, then it's also part that you cannot say, yeah, you have to stay here with me, you know, you have to let them go as well. And that is, I think, yeah. what a lot of people have experiences with. Uh, and I, I, I do think like if you're providing guidance towards people, like one very important key is that you know where the person is at so that you can meet them where they're at. Um, if yeah. like some people live there like completely in their own world and yeah. you know, then, then they fail to connect with another person because they are like at an other stage. Uh, and yeah. then I noticed because I, being a teacher assistant and children are at a completely different level and their their yeah. experience of the world is completely different than yours then so you have to meet them like okay you, you like lego a lot let's it's, it's your yeah, lego to talk about construction and instead of like using all these constructional terms that they're not familiar with you can use something yeah. that they're already familiar with and in that way you can reach them you know i think the same nice. thing applies to with, with everyone uh but not necessarily with Lego, but uh, with many different things. Uh, uh, just just something that w is within their interest. And I think w through that, you can reach everyone because eventually we all uh, have the same desires. We all want the same thing. We all want best for, for children. We all want what's best for, for uh, the earth and, and, and for ourselves. But we are not, not everyone looks at that that way. Um, not yet because they they still experience like uh everything in an egocentrical way uh that uh, yeah you know what do i need right now uh, but you know if you're really further down the line you think about all these things you really contemplate and meditate and 
most of those things fall away and eventually a few things are left and that is what we all share uh so those might be like uh yeah like what i previously said you know like just basic needs that you know maybe you don't have two cars but you do have a, a nice family you are healthy that's a very important thing uh and you are happy and and well uh and you live a meaningful life um and i do think like being in the moment living in the moment and like these podcasts i used to really intensify myself into the moment uh it's very important uh and that is also something if you're a very good artist you create art or whatever then you engage in this moment and uh if you if you don't have an art form maybe people do it through breath work i know that is very crucial in meditation uh, but mm -hmm. i think that those would be i don't know but i think they would be suitable answers to uh providing guidance with, to people but uh like the, the 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 difficult part is that everyone is different so you you have to be able to really connect with everyone and that is something very very difficult um and if you're somewhere new and you're like why i was here in the farm with these people it, it takes a certain time to get adjusted to everyone here and how soon yeah. i'm gonna leave to, and travel on and I'll have the same type of situation where I still have to readjust to the other people. But yeah. I do it consciously because I think like it's important to uh, be engaged with everyone. You cannot engage with everyone, but you can engage with enough different type of people that eventually, you know, you can reach a lot more people. And even though you cannot reach, reach everyone, they can and do it for you. And it just spreads, you know. Uh, it's just you yeah. shedding a sample, and I think that is something that is. If you're, if you're a guider, then you should make an example. If you're saying like one thing and you're not doing it yourself, then you yeah. know what what is it worth, really? Your words. So it's better. It's better well done than well said. You know. So yeah. I hope this podcast is not just me talking about all of these things that I found interesting, but also applying it uh, into my own life and for that some people need to know me first to really uh, uh validate that that's true but uh yeah you already like that's why i think we're uh such good friends you saw some examples that i like maybe not always but i can be that for for sometimes <laughs> i don't know like i i won't no, talk about sure, myself yeah. too much but i i do yeah. think like it's very important to you know, uh, walk the talk um, and not just say yeah. things, but words are important to point things out. So yeah. I think, don't think we should stop talking, but I do think that we should talk more wisely. Uh, and you can see this in Peru, like we're in three kilometers height, so you're not talking all day, you know? So the things that yeah. you're saying, they're, they're more useful. <laughs> uh, and, and, and that's the same thing that where really it happens right now with this Corona thing, like people, finally can meet up with one or two friends uh, because they're allowed to now they're now you're using this time to talk about uh, what you're feeling what you're going through how it's like like being up there all by yourself uh what you've done in all that time that you watch a lot of podcasts hopefully mine uh no, i'm just kidding but uh or watch a lot of tv or whatever but share all these things you know be open up and once you open up then a lot of beautiful things happen and I would like to be an example for people that uh, that can be the case. Like I'm traveling right now uh, during this Corona time period, which is very controversial to do because you know why you're traveling. You want, you should stay home. Some people say, yeah. but uh, yeah, I got my reasons. But uh, I don't say like everyone should travel. Like that's another thing. Like if I would be a guide to people and and say like uh, yeah, you should follow me, follow my lead. You should travel right now as well then that might me not be the most wisest thing to do. But I do think that uh, people should like look into what is really happening right now. And it's very difficult because of the censorship of YouTube. Uh, a lot of things that I've really collected through all the things that I've researched in my, um, in my life, like a lot of those videos cannot be found on YouTube anymore. So that's very sad. You know, I, I think like that, it, that we should, be able to even though 
YouTube would follow not their guidelines. It's still something that people should be having able to access to. Not like in China yeah. where certain parts of the internet are censored and it's it's a, it's a, such a crazy time that we're in. Uh, I think like this this internet has changed so many things. Like I wouldn't be here right now probably without it, without it. You know, like all the things I've researched and other people like we are having a talk like in, in your for like how many kilometers away from me? I don't know, but uh, that yeah. those things can be possible. But another thing like which 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 you're also more familiar with is the psychedelics. Uh, we're, we're never been at an age before where we had so much access to all these different types of psychedelics. Uh, normally it would be like traditionally you had a shaman and they initiated certain people to to take those or take in, in the ceremony. But right now we, I have you know, mushrooms and there's a weed which comes from another country. Then, and, you know, there's this and that ayahuasca and that, that never happened before. So there's a lot of first times in the times that we're here right now. And I think people yes. should take, take a breath and just really reflect on what does this all mean? What does it really do to our own consciousness? Because we're using a lot of technology and, and psychedelics are also considered as technology, but then more of the mind. But uh, what is, does it affect? How does it affect our minds? Because it is uh, definitely changing us. I, I, one example of this, like a lot of people getting more sensitive uh, to all, what, you know, all the uh, stimulations in, in the world. And that is partially because of uh psychedelics i think because it makes you more in this open state so it's good to open up but then on the same side like being in this open state you also have to know how to discern through different energies like you talked about earlier about these dark uh dark energies like you should be there should be a way where you can uh make this distinction like okay this doesn't serve me this is something i do want to put my energy into and there's so much inter energy interaction in, in our society now through internet through uh, psychedelics through a lot of different things but we didn't really get taught how to uh, make all these, these discernments because of education because of how we were brought up uh, we, you know yeah. we have, and, and something that we didn't and, and, and agree with in, during the break the small little discussion but uh, the role of authority um because people in in education like i've been a teacher assistant you have a certain authority over children uh but you really have to be aware that you're using this authority for the right reason uh but we're right now we're in a time period where people are brought up okay and the authority knows everything and it could be institutions it could be a lot of different things but they don't really learn to think of for themselves and that goes back to you know, the crossroad and making the decision uh, that the, the wise decision can only be made if you have the access to the, to the knowledge that what is happening, uh, what are vaccinations, what are viruses, what are technology, what is our mind? There's so many questions we need to put forward, um, but a lot of people are not doing that yet. They, they, they depend on mainstream media, they depend on teachers or they depend on whatever but they don't really look within themselves and find these questions for themselves and talk about their surroundings because it's good that you found it out for yourself if you do but it's also the next step is to share it with your community and and that's something i've been missing in, in the new age movement where they stress the importance of meditation and sitting in a cave and and being one with the source but then you should bring those visions back to community, to the community that you're interacting with. And that's something that's left out. And I do believe that that is something that we're in right now. Like it's beautiful that, 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 that you know, that you learned a lot, but what to do with this knowledge, you know, and not everyone is ready for it yet, or you, you might say it in, in the right way. So yeah, I don't know. What, what are your thoughts on this? On what? <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what I just said. <laughs> yeah, you said a lot, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, uh, but especially... Yeah, I mean, let's, let's start with psychedelics. I mean, uh, yeah. uh, for me, it's, uh, there's a reason for everything, and everything is connected with each other, and, um, and we see there's a renaissance of psychedelics. 
And it's, uh, I think it's at the moment, it's not easy to stop, not so easy it used to be in the 70s, 80s. Uh, it's much more sophisticated now and much more rooted into, into society. And I think there's a reason to do so. Uh, mm. like for everything is a reason so and uh, yeah and i think I, I really appreciate that the people are going out and uh, have the courage to to explore their own um, mind and consciousness with these tools you know mm. so so yeah well, and that's... it's interesting for me it's interesting i mean in the 70s it was uh, uh 12 hours duration as a tr uh, trip or mushroom trip for five hours and nowadays uh, the people are more going for dmt of 13 minutes which are just much more mind-blowing than all the, the 13 hours uh, lsd i yeah. know not all but yeah but they have the potential to it's it's like it's like the way our society changes, everything getting faster and more intense. So even the psychedelics getting more, much more fast and intense. Yeah. 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 So, definitely. Yeah. So, so I think, um, I think uh, in a very good way about this, uh, this uh, culture, about the new age psychedelic culture. I like it. Yeah, uh, but, it has but, ev everything. Everything has its downside, you know. The upside yeah. is the people are getting, getting, uh, getting used to their own mind and explore themselves, and uh, are really confronted with with uh, ghosts. Yeah, uh, with ghosts like fear. Fear is a ghost. You know, fear doesn't exist. You know, oh, it's just, like that, yeah. it's just, it's just a ghost. If you, if you, if you really. Uh, well, I mean, if you if you go inside and learn to 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 differentiate between the world and you, you will find out that nothing can touch you. Uh, nothing, you are totally untouchable. Um, something, hmm. a, a piece of consciousness, and um, and in psychedelics, I mean. Everybody who is really sincere in this psychedelic ad adventures, uh, sooner or later he will come to a point or she will come to a point of being confronted with death. And uh, I mean, if you survive the death, you, you have it. You yeah. know, you're free. And um, so for me, it's like they're, they're very powerful and there's a reason why they're coming up now, you know. Yeah, but, but on the other side, people also abuse a lot of psychedelics as well. Uh, coming from a background where, you know, so our, our alcohol is consumed very, like, uh, free-flowing. Uh, and, and people are used to this mentality and, and to these relationships towards substances. And they apply mm -hmm. the same mentality towards other substances which are more... You know, you get this half trip, you feel very great, one with the source, yippee, yippee, yay again. But then what, you know, like, how do I integrate all these lessons into our daily life? And, and if there is no, and then if we come back to the guidance again, if there's no proper guidance in, in, in those integration fashion, um, phase, then people will misinterpret it and they are like, okay, after I done ayahuasca, I feel two weeks, I feel very great, but then... I'm back at this fucked up world again, uh, but, <laughs> but you know, like, uh, what do I do with these lessons? And I think that I, I, I feel another responsibility to really help people uh, adjust to be, because like we're not brought up in, in a jungle. So it is not something that we're, uh, that is rooted within our own tradition. And so yeah. we, we should be very, at first we should be very uh, acquainted with uh, uh, their way of seeing the world. Uh, we should maybe first live in a jungle for a while. Uh, we should follow a diet, but, 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 but bringing it back to the Western world that has some implement, implementation. So I am a very big, I'm not, not against psychedelics and, and I have seen my own benefits towards it, but, uh, and they're very powerful and very sacred, but uh, a lot of people take it too lightly and they take all these psychedelics but don't really know what it implies and what it does to our mind 
uh, and, and uh, like what's something that I found more, more in, uh, important is to find spirituality within your own tradition. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Frisian, like that's the, that's, that's the nationality I've come from. Like it's in, in the Netherlands, we're not a country anymore, but we did have a tradition where we used a certain substance. So it, for me, it, it's much more easy to use this substance, which is uh, psilocybin, and to integrate those lessons because our ancestors took it for a long, long time. And it's, and it's brought in the climate that I'm from. So I'm very a lot, yeah. a lot acquainted to this psychedelic. But with the new age, they, they sterilize a lot of these teachings from, from their source. And they, I mean, they go to Eastern uh, countries and they have beautiful teachings. I'm nothing against it. But again, they use these teachings which are acquainted to the, to the Eastern mind. And then they bring it back to, to the West. And, and that has consequences again. Like there, uh, there, there, there is in, within our traditions here in the, in the West, there are many different spiritualities as well. But people are less uh, acquainted with that, unfortunately. But I hope that that uh, that will people will become aware that we we don't have to travel to India to become spiritual. We don't have to travel to Peru. They all have their beautiful insight and their own beautiful lessons. But spirituality is right here, and we only have to look back in, into our own ancestry, and we can find many different things. And that is not just because I'm Frisian. There's many different uh, other uh, traditions uh, all over the world. Uh, but in the last decades, they, they, uh, there's a lot of uh, knowledge lost. And that's why I think it's also very important that people reconnect to that. But I'm still in the forefront uh, on, on this uh, and with, with other people. But if you do, do research on ancestry and spirituality, you only find African people that realize this. But in, in, in the West, it's, it's such, we're so modernized. Like everything, we're so used to... Uh, being access to, to, to having access to all the places of the world and all these different things. But when, when do we look into our own ancestry and, and really learn from, you know, you see this in every form of spirituality. They all like, they all treated the ancestors as something sacred. Why, why, why don't we do the same in the West? Do you have an answer to this? Why, why, why is this a, a focus on in, within spirituality? Or people go, why did you go to the to India and not uh, for in for like in Germanic peoples that they, they have Odenwald that's where I went to it's for me it's like a sacred pilgrim site uh, many interesting places there with magnetic stones connecting with those uh, elemental beings there um, so what what are your thoughts on this what 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 are some Western uh, so what what is what is the question? Why I yeah. went to 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 spiritual institutions? And, no, yeah, no. In, in why, why why were you so attracted to go to um, to the east for for the spirituality yeah, but, but, there instead of uh, uh, look at in within your own roots within uh, Germany uh, and Germanic I, I people. Couldn't, I could, but I just couldn't find it like uh, in this authentic. Uh, authenticity you know um, I, I started to um, to become more interested in Buddhism and meditation mm -hmm. so I mean like I said before I couldn't sleep so much in this time and um, uh, some doctor said me or uh, made me aware about meditation and mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and I, I I went to a yoga course, and but it didn't really uh, suit it well. And then I heard about um, I know I read a book from a guy who who spent uh, a few years in Thailand in a meditation retreat center, and uh, then in a in a Buddhist monastery. Hmm. So and then I moved to this Buddhist monastery um, in Thailand. And I did this uh, three years, uh, four, four weeks uh, per year. And then I sold everything in Germany and went into the Buddhist monasteries for, yeah, for almost two years yeah, in total. Hmm. Yeah, and then I went to, to India and then from India to Portugal and from Portugal to Peru. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. I. I like. I, there's beautiful places there and a beautiful teaching. I. I have a, 
Buddhistic uh, tattoo. So like I, I, I don't have anything uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, against Buddhism, but I do yeah. want to stretch the importance that people look within their roots uh, for, for their spirituality uh, that was connected to their ancestry. That is something that I find very missing in, and that comes again with the new age uh, movement. Yeah. And, and they, they, they grab all these things and, and put them in one pot, but then they, they don't really look like, okay, what, who are you as a person? What is your ancestry? Let's, let's see how we can work with that. And then, of course, if you have that connection, you can go to Peru, you can go to India, and you can learn from all these different uh, 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 traditions but you know your own roots and that's that's something that i found missing and i'm not putting it towards you like personally like oh you, sh you should have done that as well um because everyone has their own reasons but i do think like overall within this movement i i see this this uh unfortunately and i do think that there's like a a, a, a certain conspiracy within the new age movement where they don't want people to really reconnect with their ancestry because of uh, more of the postmodernic side where people they're afraid that they become nationalists or that they become racist and they exclude other people uh, and you can see this within our society they don't want to really to get us to know about uh, our own past but I do think like man, I wish people wish people had that awareness but it will it is something that I want to write about in my book but I because I do think it's very important that people establish a connection with their ancestors and you can yeah you can see this in, in many different cultures where they already knew that about this importance because we're here we all have this stuff because of our ancestors you know so why 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 we shouldn't honor this I don't really get it I, I don't know why why is that left out and um in, in the spirituality yeah. within new age yeah but i will definitely do like an, an entire podcast on just breaking down all the things that that uh new age pushes upon in spirituality because when i started on my spiritual quest when i was 17 i was interested in spirituality and saw on youtube and there's i'm not going to mention any names but there's a lot of gurus and a lot of people they say yeah i mean hello yeah I'm not done. and then they'll talk about a lot of crystals and uh, meditation and all this interesting stuff very nice but uh they leave also a lot of things out and uh and, and that is something i worry about a little bit uh and also these things with, with psychedelics of course they're beautiful substances but we should also be a little bit careful here what we're doing because uh, if we don't really know how to integrate it, like traditionally there would be a shaman uh, helping us uh, transition these mm. teachings into our life. But now that, that one isn't there or the person is still there. It depends, of course, but on, on where you're doing it and when you're doing it. Uh, but overall yeah. people take these psychedelics oh let's just trip out in a bus uh, in the forest and uh, have a good time but and then you know they get these visions and they're like okay now I need to work from nine to five again you know and they're like shocked uh, uh, like how do I how do I steer this into my, my, my daily life and I think that's where like guidance steps in like people are like okay like me have this certain awareness like okay did you establish any connection with your ancestry uh what, what what are some things that is still stuck in your past Do, uh what are some beliefs that you took off of other people even though they had a beautiful face and and they looked very spiritual but uh um yeah like it's it's, it's, it's makes me a little bit worried that people uh grab all these uh ent entire views of, of civilizations and and uh not really taking the awareness really what, what comes with that. Uh, can you follow what I'm saying? Uh, I think I followed. It was not so easy, but I, I tried to follow. Uh, but I I not necessarily agree. I mean, I, 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 but I, mean, I agree in a certain way. I, I, I see what you mean. And I see there's an upside. Uh, no, a downside to this upside. The upside is the people coming, coming in contact with their mind. They're learning about their mind, and um, of course, they, they will um, 
they will face some hindrances like how to integrate and they being perhaps they, they are lost even some people may develop uh, psychosis can be mm -hmm. but 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 the upside is too big to 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 neglect this whole thing so i mean you you i i know you don't want to say to to neglect it but but i i, I just say it just it just for me it's worth everything uh that the people go into it um I mean, not, not everything, but but uh, it it's worth a lot, and it's a lot of difficulties uh, on on the road because we lost the road, and the people, what the people trying is uh, they try to to reconnect to the spirit, mm -hmm. and um, and I and I what what I what I disagree is um, in you have to have a, sh a shaman and you have to have a guidance. Uh, I think I'm, I, I, I more see misuse in this kind of belief as it uh, is useful for anybody whatsoever, you know? No, not, I, not I, think, I, I think, I think my, 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 what I try to, to, to get out and what I would, would wish from, for this world is that the people wake up to the guru and the shaman within themselves. Yeah, so yeah if somebody, sure. I agree with so that. If I, what, what I see, what the people, you know, they, they, they're waiting but, for everything. But the, the same way now in this uh, situation, it's a, it's a guru, is the government who says you have to wear a mask. And uh, in, 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 the, in the ayahuasca session, the guru tells them um, what to do and what when to shit and what to smoke, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. and I, and I, I, and I, I think it's not a good thing. I think we are now at a point where where we have to find our own shaman within. Yeah, sure, and, but, uh, but, sure, but not 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 everyone is at that stage, lad, and I don't. Think yeah, but, every, but every, everyone everyone who who does takes the journey, who's ready. It's this, this, these people are ready for the journey. It's mm -hmm. so simple. There's, there's, you know, many people do many mistakes, but but it's it's part of their path. Yeah, true. So 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 it's totally for me. It's totally okay if somebody uh, does a magic mushroom trip and doesn't doesn't know how to integrate it because he or she will find out. Eventually, and, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's all about, you know, it's not about efficiency, it's not about, um, it's, it's actually the hard way, it's actually the good way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The hard way is the good way, because then you learn really. If you, if you go in a monastery and everybody is telling you how to, to meditate to the jhanas, and you just do it, and then you, you, you not really learn something about the mind. It's, it's more about learning about the mind than learning how to come to, to jhana. You know, you, the jhana is a, it's a very blissful state of mind. It's very uh, full of wisdom, and it's it's almost like a, a really good acid trip uh, on the on the peak of seven hours. Or so. Mm -hmm. so, and um, but it's not about that. It's better if the people really struggle, and the same is with the psychedelics. I you know I I I was in in Iquitos and made a ayahuasca dieta. And, and I would never do it again. You know, I, I appreciate much more to do it uh, here alone in my heart in Portugal uh, or, or with some friends. Um, and I would, everybody recommends that sooner or later you have to do it for your own. Hmm. Yeah. And sooner is better than later. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's that's my my opinion about it. You know, because it, they don't destroy you, and they they will teach you a lot. But if yeah. you do it in a in a in a in a way where you don't give up the responsibility of learning to somebody else. But but like if I take a practical example of like for example when I was a teacher assistant, there's so a, a kid struggling with with mathematics, then this kid needs certain guidance where. I can adjust the mistakes that the person is making 
and, and, and teach the person, okay, this is, this is where you make a mistake, but you have to understand yourself why. And I think that is where you can become your own guide, but you have to, uh, you don't have to maybe, but it would be useful that there's someone on the side that can, uh, um, if needed, if the, if, the, if the child and the child should make this decision by themselves, uh, yeah. but if they're like, okay, I, I'm struggling with this math and they're pointing the finger like, uh, uh, teacher, could, we, could you help me? Uh, then I can, and this is what the guidance is all about, uh, help them adjust in their mathematics. Now, if I would apply that to integration, um, I would help them out. Uh, if they would ask me, like, I'm struggling, uh, adjusting um, all the, or integrating my uh, uh, um, visions that I have from the DMT experience or whatever it might be, uh, then I can say, okay, uh, what are you, what is your daily life like? Okay, I'm working from nine to five. I'm in a, in a uh, office building. I don't really like my job. I rather do this and that. Like, okay, what what is holding you back? Why aren't you like this? Uh, but also, I think like one point that goes back to my uh, ancestry like if you look within your ancestors then I'm not really not needed anymore I can be still be there of course having the supportive role uh, but the ancestors are, are, are within and they they will guide you on this path but I, I think that everyone already has these ancestors within themselves and okay a lot of history got destroyed uh, but still we do need to reconnect with our ancestry because they're they're a part of us and if we don't integrate the ancestors in ourselves uh then i i think a lot of things will propel off in, in directions that we didn't really attend it to but because of our uh you know like it's of course it's part of our growth and and we stumble around and oh it's there anyway uh, it's all good but uh yeah, I think it will make a make a, make a, a giant difference. But I can see both perspectives. I can see what you're saying, but I, I still think that uh, reconnecting with uh, ancestry is something that, uh, and also, uh, of course, maybe we don't need not, a shaman yeah. with psychedelics, but uh, yeah. like a shaman is not something that was there just, you know, oh, uh, we need to, oh, there's a psychedelic substance. Oh, what else do we need? Hmm, shaman. No, it's it's there, there's <laughs> there's an interplay like like the, the, the shaman they they found out about these plants and they worked upon in, in these plants for a very long time so they 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 know those worlds the best so of course maybe you can take these psychedelics and have a very great experience but if you really want to uh, um, know how to apply it into your daily life then they have the most experience with this uh, and. I, I think what 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 something if you want to integrate uh, like if you go through the jungle and you take a psychedelic then of course you have the shaman there they can help you integrate the lessons there but if you go back to your own country uh, and that might be in the west you should be acquainted with what uh, the west uh, the western mentality and how that grew you know and and what our ancestors and what our past is. Because if you know our ancestry and our past uh, and our mentality as a whole, as a Western thinking, then it becomes much easier to integrate something that you've learned uh, on the other side of the world in a, in a tradition that was totally different from yours. So does this make any sense to you? Or, or, uh... No, totally. I totally get it, Jasper. I think, um, it's, I, it, I think we can conclude as... Uh... It's good to have friends. To have what? Friends. Yes. You know, it's, it's all about friends. I mean, I don't need any any special uh, psychedelic. I mean, another point what you're talking about is, is uh, as the ancestors, and I think it's always good to be aware about ancestors, psychedelic or not. It doesn't doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it's good to know the roots. Yeah. But if we talk about uh, psychedelic guidance, the only thing what you need is friends, hmm. and you don't, you don't, not, you not even need psychedelic friends. You just need real, really friends, real friends, and then all is good. 
That's all mm. what you need, you know. You know, don't need special integration. You don't need something. It's just coming all out exactly in the way it should come out. Uh, but what you need is friends, for sure. Mm. Uh, that's, uh, or let's say it's very helpful to have friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is, uh, yeah, I think that's a good point to stop. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. Good yeah, I was thinking the and, same. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it's been a blast. Uh, is, is there something in, in 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 overall that you wanna mention, like things you're involved in and people can help you out with, or is there something you wanna bring attention to, or something you wanna add to our whole conversation? Uh, no, no, I I just um, yeah. I, so, uh, what I would love to to bring out um, is. Um, to have a look to the cryptocurrencies. Mm. Yeah, I, yeah we, we, we all already spoke about them, but I mean, if, if what is happening at the moment at the planet is we creating kind of new organism, like, I mean, back in the history, there was a point where, where an organism with one cell was the biggest organism on the planet. And any time there came a step where where such such kind of organisms, this one cell organism, um, they connected to each other and they formed a bigger over organism, and they took on special roles and they played special roles. And now, out of this um, kind of development, came out um, the human mankind, for example. Hmm. So and now. We have the situation that the human human mankind is uh, is finding together like this one cell organism to a higher organism. So, and in this higher organism, uh, money is the same, but in our body is the ATP. It's like the energy transferring molecule. And this ATP, this energy transferring mole- molecule in, in the body of this new organism, which we are, what we are creating of this uh, global organism, um, this is uh, corrupt. It just, it's, 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 it, it's, it's like a sick. It's, uh, hmm. so, and, 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 the, and the cure one, uh, it, it's just a pure way of transmitting energy as uh, cryptocurrency. It's just a gift of the universe that we have these tools and we just have to pick it up. Hmm. So I, if, I, if I may wish, wish something and get something out into the universe, I would say really everybody should engage in this kind of technologies as much as possible. Hmm. They are not perfect yet, but, but they will be perfect anytime. And they are much more perfect than the, than the fiat currency what we have now. Yeah, I was already like a little bit uh, orientating myself in uh, in crypto, uh, yeah. and and I know that there there's now a, a movement with uh, decentralization uh, of finance. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, that's very interesting uh, development that that that's in because the money is very yeah. uh, unevenly distributed right now with with the current system that we have. Um, yeah. So that is something we really have to topple. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's overall like very interesting stuff. Uh, I don't know myself too much about it, but I will definitely do more research. And uh, yeah. hopefully my, my viewers will, will do uh, the same, but it's up to them. Uh, I'd like to thank you for uh, for taking your time and uh, being uh, on this podcast. Uh, so really Jasper, thank you for always, that. always good to see you, man. Yes, it's, yes really uh, inspiring. What we are, what we are doing, doing is amazing. Yeah? Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, full power into it. I like that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank and to, you. Our, to our viewers, thank you for watching. Uh, be, lo- be, be sure to like and, and, and um, subscribe. Uh, put in the comments like what your thoughts are on uh, the future of cryptocurrency. Uh, will it be something that uh, will take a, a big role? We'll uh, yet to see, but uh, put your thoughts on what, 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 are, what could be happening. And um, yeah, I rely on word to mouth uh, for, for promotion though. So if people want to share this to their friends, I much appreciate it. Uh, there's nothing for it, so it will uh, reach the people that, that really need it the most. For me, that's most important. 
Uh, and so, uh, yeah, thank you for, for sharing and uh, liking and subscribing if you did that. And uh, hope to see you in the next episode. So thank you. Very good. Thank you. Bye, Ciao, man.